Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today we are on the guided missile light cruiser USS Little Rock in Buffalo, New York. And we're in the officer's head on Little Rock because there are some really interesting original plumbing features here that are things that you probably don't think of on a ship. A good portion of museum ships have activated some of their heads, whether it's for the campers to use during the overnight program or just regular guests to use the bathroom as they're on board. Um, many of these ships have active heads and plumbing running through them. The plumbing is what will probably one day sink most of our museum ships. So it's very much a balance between retaining the old original stuff that feels like it should from when the ship was in service and uh, modernizing it to something less likely to sink the ship. And uh, it, it's usually a mix. You don't modernize something until what's there already breaks. Uh, very cool that th this officer's head here on Little Rock still has some of the functioning original stuff. Now when I say original, I don't necessarily mean World War II era. Uh, this stuff looks like it's from the 60s to me which would be around the end of Little Rock service, but it still seems original to when the ship was in service. Why do I think that? Check this out. Let's say I've just brushed my teeth in the morning and uh, I'm going to now uh, you know, do the hand cup thing and gargle water. I, I don't know what the terminology is for it. You, you do it every morning, hopefully, maybe at night. Uh, you can't do that. As soon as I take my hand off the knob, it springs back into the regular position. Why would this need to be an original feature for these ships? They've got very small holding tanks for the water that's running into them. Remember, you've got hundreds or thousands of guys, depending on the ship. They're taking showers. They're using the bathroom several times a day. They're washing their hands, hopefully several times a day after using the bathroom. Um, there is a lot of water going down into those holding tanks. What happens, and I have seen a ship take serious damage because of that. What happens if you do your thing and you leave the spigot on or it's still dripping or something, you walk out? Well, that tank is now filling up. So that's a problem. Second problem is there is a finite amount of fresh water that you can make every day. If your fresh water is dripping out of the sink because somebody left it on, then there's no water to drink. There's no water to go into the boilers. That causes all sorts of problems for you. So you see things like this where the spigots will spring back into their original position. Really cool. You've got much higher pressure out of the cold water side than out of the hot water side. Again, probably intentional. The water has to go through a heater for the hot water side and there's a finite amount of water going through that. And remember, we've got showers, we've got everything else. So they're intentionally choking off the water that you can use, which is a good thing. Because the sailors, the crew of this ship, may know that this is important, but this is a fleet flagship. Uh, Little Rock served as 2nd Fleet and 6th Fleet's flagship during her career. She specifically had flag accommodations installed, which means that you're bringing on a lot of foreign dignitaries, uh, or even American dignitaries. And, and we're, what sort of spaces are those guys going to go into? Well, everybody has to use the bathroom, and they're probably going to end up in the officer's bathroom like this one. It's not just the sinks that are like this. Check out these urinals here. Again, these are uh, original to when the ship was in service. Probably not to when she was first built, but definitely to uh, the 1960s at a minimum. When you're finished your business and you need to flush, the water's only coming through when you push the knob. It's not like a modern bathroom where it's, I forget what it is, 12 gallons per flush or something, uh, where you just hit the knob and then walk away. You hold the knob down as long as it takes to flush out all the waste product and no longer. That is not the case for the commodes, though. And I'll, I'll just briefly show you the commodes, just because we've showed you everything else in this uh, 
head. So here, here is the commode. When you hit the flushometer on there, it just drops the, the specified amount to make sure it does remove all of the waste in that uh, space. So some very interesting features that you don't think about that I haven't thought about because most of these uh, functioning ones on New Jersey have been switched out for modern stuff. And so I haven't really been on a ship that still has these originals. And when you use them, you have to think, well, why the heck did they do something more complicated? Because water is a finite resource in the middle of the ocean. And not really related to this video, but just a final cool feature in here. Check out the shower. That's right under the shower head. That's certainly not for hanging your towel on. That's a grab bar for if the ship is rocking and rolling too much and you're in the shower, you can hang on with one hand and soap up with the other. I love it. Uh, there isn't a handle here like there is on uh, KID. Check out the video linked in the description below uh, the last time we went to a bathroom. But you do have the, the pipes here that you can hold on to if the ship is rocking too much. So what are some other uh, features that you maybe didn't think about before you visited a museum ship and then you had to think about why do they do it this way? Let us know in the comment section down below. Uh, if it's something I haven't thought about before, it may be the topic of a future video. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. I encourage you guys to support the ongoing restoration efforts here at the Buffalo Naval Park and their uh, restoration projects on the Sullivans, Croker, and Little Rock where we are today. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to donate to them. There's also a link to their social media so you can keep up to date on the work that they're doing. You can support New Jersey by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find about us and our channel. Thanks for watching.